Hello friends. Today we are learning about the O-ring model of economic development. This model is development with the perspective of UPSC mains. Michael Kramer formulated this theory, put forward it first time in the journal published during 1993 uh, by the name Quarterly Journal of Economics. This theory talks about the multitasking efforts taken by the different supply chains and different production mechanisms. O-ring theory owes its name after the disaster taken place at the project of NASA in 1986 in a space shuttle named Challenger. The very high temperature uh, uh, taken place at the shuttle uh, causes it to explode. The theory explains the single production process which involves the interdependent sub-processes. The workers involved in this process, if they lack in the skills, they can affect the whole process and the product also. A defect in any single sub-process or component would affect the whole value chain produced in the single production chain. Hence, to maximize the returns on one's own skill, one six but others able to match one's skills so it is important to look into the developed countries and their models of economic development or even in their production plants they spend more on the skills of the laborers their laborers earns more and that's why they can work with the full skills and that way they can enhance the production the skill clustering is important aspect with the dimension of uh, this project. Software development can be seen as one of the example where a single decoding of the uh, of a specific data can create the fault in the holistic system. So that way, the Kramer's theory, that is O-ring model theory, is applicable in larger production. Uh, complexes. Kramer said that in production processes involve several tasks at different complexities. He considers complexity of every independent task and so he thinks about the skill required at different tasks. Because workers with different skill level have different li likelihoods of making mistakes. So if skill levels, skillful levels are there, their mistakes will be lesser their errors will be of lesser uh, in qualitative manner but lesser skillful uh, laborers can cause bigger defects to the production or the product if the o-ring theory is true the more complex is the production process the costlier each mistake is so that way the mistakes made by the unskilled laborers may cost more to the whole production process in capital intensive and complex production processes, the less skilled laborers with greater propensity to make mistakes, they, they can cause bigger losses. But instead of that, if skilled laborers are there, they may cause lesser losses at the capital level. So those firms which are pro uh, providing more capital for the productions, they are creating and enabling more skillful labors and they are getting more and more outputs. So here was the O-ring model theory. Thank you very much.